Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make my daughter's cheeks, uh, the, the bottom of her face a little bit slimmer. Now, she doesn't actually need slimming down but because she's not fat, but she did say, oh I don't like my face, it always looks wide at the bottom. So I thought that this would be a good image to show you on. Now we're not, we're not keeping this image, this was one from a YouTube video that I did the other day. Um, on my reflector and using it as a background and just blowing it out I exposed for a skin and the white background just blow out um, so that's how I get a studio background outside so if we zoom back command minus on a piece on a Mac control minus on a PC double click the layer name it now you've got to name it because for the and change it into a regular layer for the thing I'm gonna do now I'm gonna command T on a Mac control T on a PC and if you watch the width here, watch this, I'm going to come in to 95%. There you go, 94.99, 95, 95.2, whatever. Now if I press the enter key, now if you see what I've just done, can you see how I've tucked the whole image in a bit? Now, that there is something you can do on any image of a nice portrait of somebody. Not if they're ultra, ultra skinny, you probably don't have to do it, but it, of anybody. And to be honest, it makes a huge difference. I mean, watch. I mean, my daughter's not big anyway, but it's helped with a face already when she said, oh, my face looks a little bit wider, but I'd probably be able to show that now. And she'd go, oh, that, that looks better already without doing anything else. But I am going to take it. Me being me, I'm going to take it a load, load steps further than that. So let's now crop the image. So now if we go File, Revert. There you go, look. Look at that one thing alone. Look at a huge difference. But nobody would ever, ever know that you'd done that. So you never tell nobody. It's your secret. Don't tell anybody, right? So now what we want to do is I want to nip the, the face in here a little bit. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in Liquify. So if we Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC, go into Filter and to Liquify. Um, I'm now using this tool. I'm now, have you noticed I used a big brush? And I'm now just going to, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do that, right, because I'm actually showing you how to do it a different way. Now, if you look at that, it's it's actually quite significant. And and, and to be honest, it'd do the job because um, I got it right. And I mean, and I've gone to an extreme. I mean, I've gone away way too overboard there. Um, I don't think it looks like it <laughs> now. Um, and you can't really use the opacity because it just blurs. But I've gone way overboard. But you can do, you can see, you can do it the liquify way. But sometimes, so like in that situation, to be honest, I probably could have done it. But I'm not going to do it the liquify way. I'm going to do it another way. So see what you think to this. Grab the selection tool. Select the face. Select a little bit more than the area you want to select. And you've now got a selection. Press Command C. Control on a on a PC it's always control instead of command. So I'll go command C, command V. I've now made a copy of that selection. If we now click on the move tool, uh, not the move tool, sorry, it's a light. I'm not you can do it that way, but this is an easy way. If I now press command T, I'm gonna zoom in now, because I'm gonna do a bit of construction on the face, and now right click in the box and it warp. I can now Bringing the face a little bit. Let's just bring that there. Um, and for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to press enter. Now, obviously, that's what the face. And can you see how it does? It does a better job. It keeps the shape of the face. It keeps the the, the line of a face. I mean, forget this little line. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute. Um, but can you see? how it's naturally kept a face shape. So in Liquify, it's easy to click and bend a mouth, or I mean, it hasn't even affected a mouth. Now you see when I did it in Liquify, the mouth sort of went a bit of a different shape. So click on the layer and let's name it right. I'm gonna name it right, fix, uh, fix, okay. 
Now I'm going to select the eraser tool, the background, uh, the, not the background eraser tool, just the regular eraser tool. Check the opacities at 100% and put the floor to around 10 to 15%. And if we just rub over, well, let's just rub over this area. Can you see that? I've blended the air now. Then, last but least, rub in over this line. And um, I'm going to rush it for the sake of the video. But if we now turn that on and off, you can see we've nicely took that in. Uh, we'll just go over there. Thank you. Right, okay. Well, you can see that that's a perfect job. And it's kept the contour of a face and it looks superb. Let's just zoom back um, to there and take a look. Look at that. Really, really nip that face in a lot. And it's kept the shape of a mouth and everything else. So now, if we zoom back in again, and we click on the background layer and we select the selection tool and we come down again and we'll go down here then we command C command V double click on it and name it left fix um, command T control T on a PC right click and warp now let's give the bit a little tuck try tuck it and keep the, took it evenly to there. Right. Okay, we'll leave it like that. That's good enough. Um, can we push the chin up a little bit? Mm, yeah, go on to something like that. Right, we'll, we'll go like that. Right. Pressing the enter key, go into the background eraser tool, and just blend in it. There's a bit there, look, see on the air that's not. There you go. Just blend that in. And ah, let's take a look at that. I mean, that's. I really pushed that in, um, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it. It, it um, just to show you. Now, if I click on the top layer and then hold the shift key, click on the bottom, Command G, Control G on a PC, and we can take a look at our new slimming. And as you can see, that's done. The chin wants to win as well. Um, so we could now click on the background layer again. Let's uh, select the lasso tool. Let's just do a quick shape command C command V let's name it chin let's command T right click and what and there's got to be careful here now let's just give it a little lift so you've got to be careful you see with that line there so just be careful there and uh, let's um, Let's just take a look. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, right. And then go to the background eraser tool and just rub over the line there that you can see. Just blending it in. Absolutely superb. Just go to the edge a little bit if you think that you've uh, messed up there. Let's take a look. Oops, there you go. I see the, the neck. There, let's fix that. Let's zoom back. Let's take a look. Right, let's move. Can we move that into there? So you can see a little bit of trimming on the face. And it looks... It, I I like that way better. Um, because it's... One, it's quicker. Two, it, does, it hasn't adjusted the mouth. Where Liquify, when, when I pushed in, the glasses went a little bit slimmer. And everything adjusted at the same time. Where doing it like this, uh, you can get a much better job. So there's a load of things you can do. You can now use, um, if we want to trim the air. Let's now push the air in. Command C, Command V. Then Command T, right click and what? I mean, this doesn't need doing whatsoever, but I'm just doing it just for the sake of the video, right? Let's press that, the enter key. Go to the eraser, click on the line, what we've just got with the 10% opacity let's put that in there now and then let's to oops and let's just figure out what I'm doing and once I do I'll let you all know and you see you can, I mean we don't have to do that but you can do that you can you can you can push tummies in um you can you can do anything and it's so so fast um, and it looks more natural it keeps the contour of the face look at that Look at the contour. See, what I did when I shot this. Now, this is actually me being a total dick. I shouldn't have shot her. Knowing that Danielle's got a bit of a 
double itch in like me, I should have shot her from above. And then I wouldn't have had this problem down here. I would have only had to... And plus, to be in all fairness, um, it would have made uh, a bottom of the face look a little bit slimmer anyway. Um, but, you know, there's how to quickly fix it. I hope she doesn't watch this video because she'll kill me because she'll think I'm saying that she's... But you can see it really does make a huge difference. And if I just flatten that now, I think I can flatten that, can't I? And now, can I revert this to the very beginning? It's hard to sell the tummy, the, the cheeks now. But you can see it's a really, really, really big improvement. Um, it didn't really need doing on this image. Um, and I hope this helps. This tutorial helps for people that need to nip and tuck. And it's up to you whether you use Liquify. Liquify will do it, but Liquify just pushes everything. Whereas if you make a selection and then you warp it, it only pushes that selection. So you don't move the size of the glasses and you don't move the size of the lips. Whereas Liquify does. Let's just go back into that again and just go to revert just to just to show. Uh, no, we'll, yeah. So we'll command J. And we'll just quickly go back into liquify just to show you what I mean in case anybody don't know. It's going to be a two second is this. But, but watch, if I took this face in, can you see the glasses? Look, look. I mean, this works. I mean, that's to an extreme. But you can you can see what I mean. Holding the alt key, press the reset and bring it back. Um, holding the shift key and the bracket to make the brush go a lot bigger faster. But you can see, again, look at the mouth. So you don't really want to be using Liquify. Liquify is okay, but I think you'll find that once you've used this new technique that I've showed you, you'll absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe and join my Facebook group.